Alright boys, welcome back to another video. Yes, I was told to stop putting, uh, putting, you know, Uraraka in my, uh, in my, you know, main screen or deploy that as a character. I put Asui now, deal with it. If you're new to the channel, first of all, subscribe, it really does help out a ton. If you haven't already done it, consider doing so. We're almost there to 11k, so we would like to help us out. It really does mean a lot to me. We've officially cracked 10.7 on the channel, so thank you once again. If you already left a like on this video, consider doing so. If this does help you out, it really helps me out because it did take me a while to go and, you know, compile everything, talk about everything, and, you know, it makes sure everything that I say here is true. So if you would like to leave a like, it helps out a ton. <laughs> On this video, we'll go for a solid 600. Let's see if we can crack it. With no further delay, let's jump into it. Let's talk about everything we got. Again, I always mention this in my videos. We have an alliance on server uh, 21, Dingo Dojo. It is open up right now. If you guys would like to join it, I will be maintaining the account with my boy Jazzy. If you would like to, or, you know, the alliance, I will be uh, maintaining that with him. So if you would like to join up, you're more than welcome to. But again, what we're talking about here today is the biggest problem every single player will run into at some point, right? The biggest problem that I already encounter, and I know you're going to encounter this too. Right now, you could say I'm free to play. Right now, you could say uh, I'm early game. So this doesn't uh, happen to me right now you can say so many things but the biggest thing that every single soul will get like stuck and you'll just you'll be sitting there for days on the same thing right it is in fact credits credits is the currency right here right how do you get credits practically speaking you can buy these but don't do it you can farm credits over here in the supply tab and you can see right here i've been taking a look at doing credits over here because my credits have been horrible now you might be saying dude that's obvious we all know why credits are bad it's uh it's whatever it is i haven't hit a wall you can say so many things with this but real quick if you're in the comments i want you guys to vouch for me because i know this is happening to everyone if you run into a wall right if you run into the fact that you just have zero credits or you have like a thousand ten thousand whatever you have an amount that you can't really go and spend let me know in the comments so at least people know that i'm not i'm not capping here and this actually does happen but again, you can say grind, you can say all these things. I want to show you why I'm talking about this. First, when it comes to the gear system, right, that requires credits to go and enhance everything, to go and take care of the gear properly. It will, it will cost you a, a, pre a pretty decent amount of credits. To go and boost your stuff as well, it does cost credits. To go and modify, all of this stuff does go and cost credits for you. So heading over to the hero tab, right, let's just head over to, uh, screw it, I think Ojiro has a, a five-star or a six-star chip, which is, I mean, hey, I don't care. Uh, let's see, let's go to chip over here. For my, he has all four star chips. Okay, yeah, the one character I don't even use, he has all four star. But for this, right, if I go over here to Ojiro and I go to enhance, the problem is credits are also used here. Most of the things that need to increase your BP, they're all revolving around credits. When you go to level 80 a character, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna require a lot and a lot of credits. I think it's 250,000 per each one of those, uh, you know, tabs. So altogether for one character, it's 750,000, I think, just to go and level them up to 80. Which again, it's very expensive, first of all, for food, all of that. But again, you can argue food or whatever, whatever. After some point, you won't need that much food, but you will cons you know, consistently and constantly run into the problem of you're out of credits. You need more, you need more. Right here, 12,000 just to get to level four. Not only with chip, when you go to skill, it does require some more credits over here. If I were to upgrade this right now, boom, my BP went up, my credits went down. It's gonna run into that same problem of everything in the game runs on the system of credits. Obviously, if I go to train over here and I click each one of these, it will re require me to go and spend credits to give them to the character. So again, there you go. And yes, my luck on banners have been horrible. I've summoned and I still haven't pulled a single S character. The only S I pulled was Momo, which practically was my reroll character. So for this, I don't have any of the good S characters. Again, when you get an S character, first of all, it helps your PP out a ton. Just getting characters in general does it. My Azawa's 80 to 90. It's going to haunt me forever. Oh my god, my stamina is looking atrocious right now. That is actually crazy. But yes, when it comes to credits, you're going to run out. How do I help you with that? How do I kind of save you here? I mentioned this in a previous video, and I always mention this mock contest. These things help out so much. First of all, the reward pre uh, preview over here, 100k, which is, you know, that's, that's a good amount. Then if we go over here, each time you complete each one of these stages, each one of them gives you credits, right? Let's say you complete this one, the bottom one gives you credits. This one, these ones will give you credits. Top one over here, these all will give you credits. Farm this one out properly. Do it. Take care of it. I think these chests also, yes, these chests also give you a good amount of credits. 100k here, 100k here, 200k on this one. This one is 300k. So I just actually stacked up my account. Now I'm happy. Can't wait to blow this in like five seconds, which is again, practically it's the truth. With that, you go and take care of mock contest. Then you have the tab over here, top right. We go over here. Yes, go down. Yes, here. Yes. With this, more credits. Farm it up. This is why I kind of titled my video free to play. Why? When you're uh, when you're whaling, when you're buying some bundles, when you're buying some things, you do get a you know a little bit better of a chance to get some more credits. Like along with this bundle right here, you get a nice whop in 1.2 mil. It's not that much. You can go and argue, sure, but there is a good amount of money or a good amount of credits you do get for ten dollars. Plus, you're getting guaranteed uh, you know shard boxes that have Bakugo, Todoroki, Momo, uh, and you know Tokoyami. So again, that's why I titled it free to play because. For us, we can't purchase anything else. We can't go and buy those things. So we will have to, you know, rely on just grinding, pure grinding and all of that. 
And when it comes to BP, right, that is the thing that revolves everything around the game. You need BP. Also, one more way for anyone that does not know already, if you go to your dorm each time, you have that machine that you get from the uh, the hero, the city thing, right? If you level up in the city, you can get that. You get this machine right here, which gives you this. And I have 50 stamina, which I got to clear. Dude, I am, I'm wasting stamina now, fam. But again, for anyone asking, what is my grind? What am I going to go take care of? Probably the first thing anybody should take care of once they have enough BP is the final stage of Night Ops. When you're able to do that, you're getting so many things. You're getting so many chips. Those chips will overall increase everything. That is where your stamina should go to first. Once you get those chips, you then need to focus on credits. Once you take care of credits, you can then focus on gear. Once you get all of the gear you need, do joint ops, do all those things, get that gear, then you're going to focus on going back and getting credits. Once you get those credits, you're going to go back to the gear, take care of your gear, enhance it, boost it, modify it, do whatever you need to. But again, you're going to hit a roll. You're going to hit a wall right away. I'm telling you now, you're going to hit it. Once you hit that wall, you're going to be sitting there trying to get uh, you know credits from every place possible. You're going to be like, damn, I should have listened to GoGo. I'm currently at, the, at that spot right now. Where else can you get it? By the way, if you go over here to Arena, and yes, go ahead, roast me. I've been trying my best. The ping is atrocious. Okay, my bad. We go to quests. We go over here. You get 12k from this time and uh, just regular hero coins from that. So nothing regarding that. But yeah, 12k here. But yeah, there's probably more places around the game to get credits. But I will tell you right now, you're going to hit a dry spot. You're going to have to take care of stuff. You're going to have to prioritize it. You can't be spending it carelessly. I'm going to be honest with you right now. It feels like credits might be a little bit more rare than hero coins. I'm going to say that now. It just feels like that, right? I, uh, I have 1k hero coins and I have 938,000 uh, credits. In five seconds from now, I'll have zero of both. If you know they're both the same, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's very hard to obtain hero coins. It's very hard to obtain credits. After a point, you're gonna get very limited on it. Your only choice or your only option once you beat the vents is in fact this. So I will say it right now: if you have extra stamina on a day, go and splurge it here. Go and spend it here. If you have extra stamina, you have to focus on increasing BP. The more you increase your BP, the more you can take care of super co-op battle. The more events you can complete. If you have a higher BP on most characters, when you go to mock contest, you'll be able to get more credits. Get more things done get higher in the ranking and when you do get higher in the ranking you get a good amount of money over here a good amount of credits a good amount of all of this stuff and 30 shards of you know things you can pick i think that's top 10 only right yeah top 10 gets it so a lot of people say in my comments it's only whales it's only whales that can do that i'm being honest with you i got very close to top you know 10 last time and my account was dookie and it, it practically you know if i continue onwards if i take care of everything if i take care of all of my stuff get my bp up get my characters up take care of that i will be able to probably place around top 10 i will try my best i will see if i can i will show it to you guys in a video if i am able to but yes with all this being said please take care of it be aware this is going to become very finite it's going to become very limited for all of you and i recommend focusing on characters you know your basic six characters then stop i know people say dude just level 80 everyone else focus on your six characters take care of them put those six characters you want in you know arena co-op uh, in the entire co-op battle take care of the co-op battle get as much hero queens as you can then go and summon for you know newer characters if you want them focus on you know credits farm those up when you have leftover stamina farm out those chips farm out all of that increase your bp it's a cycle you're gonna run into it it's a very very grindy thing i'm not gonna lie with you right now so just continue onwards with that i'm trying to like walk over here in front of the square for no reason but yeah make sure you guys take care of all that it will help you guys out a ton so again focus up good luck best of luck i hope i was able to warn you in this video and at least provide you with something that yeah you might not already know again this video was practically catered to the free to plays the people that are starting the game now and trying to at least warn them if you are a you know player that has played since day one you will encounter this and you would have already run into it i know that for a fact thank you again for watching peace out everyone enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in the next one